Hi everyone, welcome to Sprinkle of Liquid Sunshine. I am Christina, thank you so much for joining me in my cozy little crafting corner. If you would like, you can also find me on Instagram as Sprinkle of Liquid Sunshine. I have an Etsy shop and eBay store and Ravelry and I will link all of those down below. If you are returning, thank you so much. And if you are new, welcome. And everyone, don't forget to ring the little notification bell down below so that you don't miss an episode. Today is Fiber Arts A History and I'm so excited. This is episode number two and I am going to talk about something that pretty much everyone has either seen or possibly owns. And that is these little things which usually are labeled as embroidery scissors and they are in the shape of a bird. You can see that the sun is very shiny today. These I just picked up on Amazon. So today I'm going to talk to you about why these are shaped the way they are. And the reason I even know about this is about five or six years ago I had um, ordered or won a lot which is also a group of items from an auction, an online auction, um, a lot a, of scissors. And so the scissors all came to me and when I was opening them, I noticed that one pair and in the picture you could see it, I was like, cool, you know, they were a little bit different looking and sort of unusual so I knew they were probably antique. But when I opened the scissors, I noticed that inside, and I'll show you on these, so when I open them, right here on the ones that I had, had a little picture, and as I look closer I noticed it was a baby. And I was thinking, what in the world is there a baby on the, on the inside of the scissor? But then I look closer and I realized what I had weren't actually scissors. They weren't sharp at all. They were, the inside of the mouth, the beak area was flat. So I was completely baffled until I looked it up. And I'll just show, I don't know how to edit pictures in my videos yet. So I printed out a whole bunch of pictures to show you. So this is basically what mine, this is not what the pair that I had, but I found something similar online. I think this is just a Google image or it might have been from eBay. I can't remember right now. So this is kind of what mine had looked like, which, you know, it resembles the little scissors, but they were larger. And when I open them, and I'll just show you, it had this little thing right here. And like I said, when I look closer, mine was not uh, raised like this, but there's a little baby inside. Why? <laughs> what are these? They're not scissors. I didn't know what... To even call them to sell them because these were all items that I was um, going to list on in my eBay store so I had to figure out <laughs> if I could sell them what they were worth and what to even call them I had no clue so what I found out and I'll actually I did research this week to like update myself um, because this was five years ago. I don't remember all the, the details, but since then there's a couple articles that I found that came out from uh, the Smithsonian Institute and they actually had an exhibit, uh, a scissor, a history of scissors exhibit. And any uh, websites that I mentioned today, I will link everything below so you can Go and read it for yourself if you would like. I kind of just took bits and pieces of a lot of things 
to condense it down because there's a lot. <laughs> uh, so there's a, in the Smithsonian Magazine online, February of 2018, they had an article about the history of scissors. And this exhibit had items from a curator named Teresa Cullinette. It's her personal collection. And in the collection, she had, and this is not the exact pair of scissors that she had. Um, this was a Google image that I found. She had a pair of 18th century, they call them in the article, stork scissors. And um, if you zoom in on the picture, they, they do look like the clamps that I've seen. Clamps, that's what it actually is. Hers was a stork with one leg on a turtle. So you find these actually if you go uh, do a Google search. Um, but this is a very, very ornate pair. So this stork, it does have a it doesn't show the baby, but there's a baby inside. And this pair actually has some tongs sort of in the shape of a snake and it's standing on these two turtles. Now this is from a time when things that they made to use, they re often represented um, other things that actually had to do with what they were used for. So this one, this is a really cool pair. It's on little um, turtles. Yeah, that was just, I labeled it. It's just a Google image. Um, the Smithsonian also had a um, second exhibit, crazy, but this was, and this is a, a big clue. This They had a exhibit that showed a satchel that belonged to a midwife. And the satchel was from about the 1920s and it had a pair of stork scissors in it. So we went from this, this clamp thing, and there is a correlation to a scissor. Yeah, so in, uh, the, the satchel belonged to Rosa Bonfante, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. She immigrated to the U.S. from Palermo, Sicily in 1922. And the article reads that her satchel contained a pair of stork scissors from approximately 1922. So now we have them as scissors, but still why why are they a stork and <laughs> what are they used for? So it turns out that this, because it was in a midwife kit, that was my little clue that I gave earlier, it's actually a clamp. This is a midwife clamp that they used to clamp the umbilical cord of a newborn baby. So what I had in my um, lot that I had won was actually a set of umbilical cord clamp. Why a stork? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, there's different examples of, of clamps. Some of them have actually have a fish in the belly. Um, there's some very, very ornate ones. They're very expensive. Um, some of them, so they're standing on a turtle, some have a baby, some have a fish. Um, a stork for baby is because in a lot of cultures, the stork represents fertility. Um, in Roman times, if a stork built a nest on your roof, it was a blessing and a promise of never-ending love from Venus, which is kind of cool. Um, Hans Christian Andersen actually wrote a fairy tale um, in 1838 called The Storks. Now, I looked this up. It's a bit on the creepy side, but I'm 
puns, Christian Anderson fairy tales a long time ago were a little on the creepy side. Um, the turtle, I didn't know this before, but a turtle represents fertility in a lot of cultures too, in Polynesian and African um, cultures. They uh, turtles is a sign of fertility. And um, let's see, and I also found Native American tribes, and I'm gonna try my hardest, Lenape and Iroquois believe that the creator of the world placed the planet on the back of a turtle, which they're on the back of a turtle. Babies are new and, and new to the world. So, yeah, how, but how, how did they become scissors? So what I read is that midwives, when you're having a baby, you know, and you're in labor, it takes sometimes hours, sometimes days. And midwives would often have a lot of time to sit and wait for, um, babies to be born. So in the meantime, they would have like their sewing bag or their sewing basket or embroidery basket with um, scissors in it. But they'd keep their midwife supplies in the same basket. So over time, eventually it evolved from stork clamps to then stork scissors that most people have seen and used and probably have no idea why it's the shape of a stork. I didn't know. I had no clue. I thought it was just something <laughs> fun. I, I had no idea until about six years ago and I was quite shocked, honestly. <laughs> um, so yeah, so over time the scissors just, they kind of merge together. The clamp turned into scissors and hence ever since we now still can get these little scissors at most every craft store sewing shop online everywhere um, right now on eBay if you go and look and you type in uh, midwife clamp I think you can put in like umbilical cord stork, but you'll pull up a few listings currently of antique um, clamps and they range in price from $250 all the way to uh, $1,300 almost. Now that's what they're asking for. It doesn't mean necessarily that they're worth that. They could be worth that. They could be worth more or they could be worth less. You know, these are just listings that I found currently on eBay. And I'll just show you, one of these pictures is not the greatest. So here's a little set. Now they're not on turtles. They look like little lily pads, but this one did have a little um, baby in its belly, I believe. These ones were $250. And then I hadn't actually seen these until uh, a few days ago. They're very cool looking, but if you look at it, it, they're not on legs or anything, but it's still the same. So it's a little clamp because they're not sharp. These, they're asking $12.99.99 yeah, for those on eBay right now. So now, anytime you use your scissors, because I think the same thing too, these a long time ago started out as nothing to do with what we're using them for now. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you learned something. I know I did. Um, I will link anything that I spoke about, um, any research that I did, I will link all those websites down below for you to check out if you would like. Um, yeah, I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so, so much for joining me. Bye.